Since our founding in 1992, our company has grown to a leading position in the market. We've grown because we take care of our customers, we take care of our people, and because we invest in our business. Our mission is to be the mid-Atlantic supplier for produce and dairy. This soon-to-be-built facility represents the next bold step in that journey. We understand, uh, as do you, uh, that for this growth and development to occur, you've got to nurture it. You've got to nurture it. Public sector working with the private sector. Uh, this project, uh, this in private sector investment made possible by targeted tax credits at the local level, a $1 million conditional loan by the state. And for those who don't understand what a conditional loan is, and, and uh, it's a grant of a million dollars when Coastal Companies meets its numbers. And we fully expect them to do, which is to create another 400 jobs uh, between now and 2018. Uh, it's that type of investment that the state makes, that the county makes, uh, that uh, demonstrates how partnerships work as you nurture growth and development. I'm just personally uh, very excited about this because uh, this is a, a, a function to some extent of the relationship that in Howard County we build with our business community. The fact that we have, that I have a regular CEO's quarterly breakfast because it was at one of those where John was and I pulled John aside and I remember exactly where we were. We were back in some cubicle. We went and talked. We said, look, you were having some challenges at the site you were looking at. We said, I talked to David. David had acquired this or was about to acquire this piece of land. I said, look, we'll get this done. He said, but it's not zoned correctly. I said, you leave that up to us. We will zone it correctly. We will be ready for you. You're not leaving Howard County. You're certainly not leaving Maryland. Um, and uh, you will grow and thrive here uh, because, again, of the work that the men and women at Coastal do, but also because of this partnership. Almost 20% of the employees of Coastal Sunbelt are Burmese, or from Burma. They're immigrants, and they speak many different dialects. I think the number is 12 different dialects in that neighborhood, and they needed English language skills. And so the partnership is very strong between the school system and Coastal Sunbelt to educate and provide English language instruction to these employees. That is something you just don't get in Virginia. <laughs> Three, two, one, shovel. Yay! All righty. All right.